But first, a Cranston police officer is fired. He's accused of failing to respond to calls because he was busy engaging in sexual acts with a woman. Those acts were taking place while he was on the clock being paid by taxpayers. We first told you about the story as breaking news tonight at 6. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with all the new details. The ruling found the officer actually ignored an urgent call to take part in a sex act with a young woman and another on-duty officer. Cranston's mayor tells us he's pleased to have that officer off the city's payroll. From this vacant chemical plant parking lot to this wooded area behind Fay Field, Cranston police officer Robert Neary was stripped of his badge Friday after being found guilty of committing multiple sex acts across the city while on duty. This officer was in the woods uh, engaging in sexual intercourse off his assigned beat uh, when a call for service came in. A three-member panel of police officers found Neary guilty of nine administrative charges calling for his termination. During one instance last September, prosecutors say he ignored a call for a suspicious person on Norwood Avenue to take part in a sex act with the woman and another police officer in the woods behind a Little League baseball field. The officer claimed that he responded to the call. However, the citizen who placed the call for service came forward and testified in this proceeding that indeed that officer never responded to his residence. Twice during late August, investigators say the same woman performed a sex act on Neary in the passenger seat of her car. Hearing documents show the incidents happened in the vacant Sibagagi chemical facility parking lot on Mill Street also out of Neary's assigned patrol area. Serious misconduct by any employee, particularly uh, those that are in uniform and a badge, is not tolerated and will never be tolerated. An investigation by the Attorney General's office found no criminal wrongdoing on either officer's part. The other officer is suspended with pay and is not being named because his hearing is still pending. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.